What is up everyone? My name is SD Mike and today we're gonna to be talking about the YouTube space. Now while I was in New York, I actually had the opportunity to visit the New York YouTube space and check it out. And to be honest, I found it was really beneficial to creators and I thought it was something that I would personally love to utilize in the future. Not only do they have great facilities to shoot and edit your videos, but they have a lot of events for you to network and collaborate with other creators. Now there are a couple downsides to the creator spaces. One being there's only a handful of creator spaces. Seven to be exact. There's one in Los Angeles, one in London, one in Tokyo, one in New York, one in Sao Paulo, one in Berlin, and one in Mumbai. Now let's say you're within driving distance of one of these spaces. The second downside is that they have a limit of 5,000 subscribers to get in. Now this is an achievable number, and I think it'd be very beneficial to creators in these areas who are looking to grow their channels. Not only can you check out professional cameras and all other sorts of equipment, but you can use their sets and even their editing bays. One of the many issues that YouTubers come across is the lack of equipment. So if you can get these things for free, then you have no excuse but to make great content. While I was at the New York space, I talked to a creator who said that he's there nearly every day utilizing their facilities. And if I were in that area, I'd definitely be doing the same. Now, if you are in the area but don't have the subscriber quota, there are still opportunities for you. YouTube space opens the doors to everyone during events that they hold quite often. They hold panels tailored towards growing your platform, concerts, and even just opportunities to hang out. Last week, I attended a concert at the New York space and I met a lot of great creators, including one of you guys partnered with Freedom. I had the opportunity to talk to him and he said that he attends all the events and classes in order to meet, collaborate, and help grow his platform. And if it weren't for him attending, I probably would have never met him. Now I'd advise all creators to check out these spaces and see how you can utilize them for your channel. Now even if you aren't in the area of one of these places, be aware of where they are and maybe one day when you're vacationing one of these places or visiting or there for work, you could set aside some time to take a tour of the place or hopefully be able to attend one of these events, concerts or meetups or panels or whatever they're offering at the time. Because honestly, I think it would benefit you a lot. But anyways guys, that's it for me today. I hope this has helped some of you guys that are local to these areas. And of course, be sure to leave some questions down below for me to answer in a future video. If you want to see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the link in the sidebar or if you want to see more of me or this girl you can go to our daily vlog channel and hang out with their faces every single day whoa what? 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 don't yell at me i'm trying to what? make a video what? but anyways guys that's it we'll see you next week see ya what? What? Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.